Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 7 in KQL playlist, that means in Kushto playlist. In this video, we are going to explore about data table operator in Kushto query language. So before watching this video, I would strongly encourage you to watch Azure Data Explorer playlist, at least starting 4-5 videos and also watch the Kushto playlist from the starting. All the videos mostly in a sequence order so you will get most out of it when you are watching from the starting so this video is dedicated to understand about data table so what is data table operator in kushto query language and how it will help and how it will actually works so this data table operator actually returns back a table for which the schema and values you only define as part of your query so that means if you want to create some dummy table with predefined values as column names and, and rows, then you can do that. In the query itself, you can give column names, you can give data for those columns and use this data table operator on top of it to create a table out of it. I mean, it will not actually create a table in Kustosler, uh, in database of the uh, ADX cluster. It will just on the fly within that query, you will have some dummy data, data which prepared as a table for you for look and fill. You can take that table and you can refer it for join and everything, right? So let's practically show you this what I mean. So let me go back to uh, uh, Kushto Explorer. I have Kushto Explorer here. I connected with help cluster as I shown in my previous videos. Let me open new tab and in the new tab, let me try to use this uh, data table operator and on top of data table, I want to have a like a, I want to have a table on the fly within the query where I have column names, ID and name. Okay. And when I execute this, it won't create a table. So don't get confused. It will only arrange the data, whatever you are supplying in a query as a table for you. So I want to have a ID column, data type as integer, then again column name, the second column name is name and data type is string. So this continues. If you have more columns, you put a comma here and continue giving column names along with the data types. So once that is done, close this parenthesis, then open this angular brackets and here, you have to supply the values to arrange to it. So for example, first row will be like ID 1, then name may be like Mahir, okay. Then second row, right. So again, continue with the comma here itself directly. 2, then second row name column value will be like maybe Wafa. So like this. And if you want to have more rows, continue this list. All this data will be arranged in the rows in these two columns actually. So always remember, the values what you supply inside this list will be a multiple of these columns, right? We have two columns, so two twos are four. So four is multiple of two, right? So it should be multiple of it so that all these values will get arranged as rows in the columns. So when I execute this query by hitting this run command, you can clearly see I got results in which I have ID column and name column, both the values supplied as a single uh, two rows. I mean, so here, let's say I have a Another value. Now this is like a five values, but we have two columns. It's not multiple of the column count. If I execute this query, it is going to give me an error and it will say like it is not multiple of the table columns. So always make sure your table columns multiple should have as a total number of items in the list here. Okay. So once you create a data table like this, it is not actually creating a table in any database here, as I said on the fly within the query it will have you can store this into one variable maybe using let keyword so maybe let uh, demo table equals to this table whatever we got this is the entire thing is one tabular expression put a semicolon here then let's try to take this demo table and maybe i want to take where id equals to one wherever we have id one only give me that so both the rows will come into this table and then I am applying where operator to filter the rows. So let me hit this run button now and let's examine the results. Now you can see we got only one row. So where id equals to 2 if I keep I will get a second row. So let me execute this two. So we got it. So I hope you got an idea right. So data table operator will actually help you to return any table for which the schema and values were defined within the query. Okay, so that's it in this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel 
and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.